We shall now learn default display templates for a model. Basically, you can create a modular layout, a modular design at the model level also. That is, we can define how that model will look like on the display. So once you define it on the model, then the entire website, wherever that model is presented, will have a consistent look. Suppose I have a model called C student data, having certain properties 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. And I have one view page. On this I have written at the rate model C student data and here I write code for displaying the model. With one single line as we learn later, this entire model along with it all its properties will be displayed at this position. This is a sort of a code that will write one liner here and the entire model will be displayed here according to the scheme we specify. Not only this, wherever on your website this C student data object is to be displayed, then the same layout will appear everywhere. In this three series lecture, in first chapter we learn the default display templates for a model. That is what are provided by default. You don't have to write any display model at this point. You can examine what are the various, what, what is the default display template that MVC makes available for a view. Till now we have shown this view by writing at the rate uh, model dot properties although that is the preferred way no doubt about it normally you will prefer that way but in case it is desired to modularize it at the level of a model then you can see how we can do it it is better to see the concept in operation so coming straight away to our project so I've cre already created an empty uh, or a basic MVC app and I'm adding a model add class C student data. This is our model consisting of two properties name and roll number. We'll come to our controllers add a home controller add a view. I generally myself don't tick mark this one because I'll write it manually. Add. And the first line we write here is add the red model followed by the complete path. This is what we shall pass to this model. And uh, to this view this is what we shall pass to this view. So we'll create an object of C student data here. Right click to resolve. 